I'm of the opinion personally that you should follow the money first and then once you have that built up, then you follow your passions after. Because even that- Hold on, okay. <laughs> that, that's really a great point. Already messed it up, Aditya. <laughs> God damn it. You have one line to do. Gosh, you're 23 and you already saved money and purchased a six unit building? Yes, I did. I want to know how. <laughs> I'll tell you in a bit. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. What's up, guys? Thank you very much for landing on my video. If you haven't subscribed, still hit that subscribe button for an awesome content regarding real estate investing and realtor journey. But today I have a special guest who is a young girl and purchased six unit building as a first property. <laughs> Listen to that, as a first property and all her saved money, not parents money. So you have to keep watching this video if you are in her shoe and wondering what to do, you know, wondering, you know, I'm young, I don't have money and all those things. You have to go what hear her clearly for next 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, Paul, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so let's get right into your story. How did you save up freaking more than 100,000 <laughs> and you're still just 23? <laughs> yeah, so um, it's kind of an interesting story. So I, I don't know if it, you thought it was interesting. It's, so I'll go, That's why I'm it's here. It's a crazy story. It's not just interesting because yeah. has, when I was 23, I didn't even have a Mm -hmm. savings i had a huge debt yeah <laughs> so hundred thousand more than hundred thousand is crazy so tell us how first of all it wasn't all me my mm -hmm. fiance like we've been saving together so okay. he was working as well while i was going through school so okay. he was he's a few years older than me okay. so he had a full-time job and he was saving mm -hmm. and then i had a full-time job while i was in university and i was saving and the scholarship and grants covered my tuition. Okay. And I just had to pay a little bit into the university. So, so it was kind of like a half half kind of deal there. Yeah, so, yeah, but still like, <laughs> did you not spend any money or why? No, <laughs> so I, I tried to spend as little money as possible while I was in school. Yeah, you're yeah, right. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. Like why real estate? Um, so from <laughs> i went through a quarter life crisis essentially <laughs> what, what do you after? mean okay so <laughs> i went through nursing school mm -hmm. um at this point i'm 21 and i graduated and i'm supposed to be starting a career mm -hmm. and my plan from there eventually was to work until i'm 50 mm -hmm. <laughs> just in this super hard career and then maybe move up and become a nurse practitioner or a professor or something get out of floor nursing but I didn't see like anything that I would you know really look forward to I just realized I'm gonna get two weeks of vacation a year I'm not gonna get to travel <laughs> like I want to I'm gonna have to keep making money and then just keep saving it and I thought it, even if I kept saving this money if I were to save like 80% of it I still would not be able to retire in 20 years yeah. unless I looked into investing so um, I found real estate and I kind of got like a new spark for life and mm -hmm. I have a goal now and I don't have mm -hmm. to work for the next 30 years before I'm able to retire so that's yeah. kind of how I so what's it. your what's your motivation now like what do you want to <laughs> well like my goal is to be able to retire before I'm 30 is the before goal. you're 30 so yeah. it's pretty much how many years left seven yeah I have seven years to do it that's good that's <laughs> That's an intensive goal for many, but it's, yeah. I think it's doable. Yeah. How much are you making right now? Uh, has your passive income from your six unit, six unit building? Well, right now, um, it's not updated, the rents or anything, but once we get this unit filled up, which is mm -hmm. going to be next month, we're going to be making, I believe it's about 1500 a month. 1500 cash flow. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, tell, tell us yeah. a little bit more about your deal. Okay. How did you, what's, what's the property look like okay. and uh, how did you find the deal? Okay. So I found it through Aditya here. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I actually met Aditya when we, um, when I first got into real estate. So I'm in one of your videos like seven months back. Remember yeah. that winter? <laughs> that was so spontaneous too, by the way. So we, yeah. um, 
we met Turned seven, out very well. <laughs> yes, it did. So like seven months back, I started looking into real estate. I met Aditya at like one of our local meetups here. And, you know, we got to know each other and we were talking about our goals. And he's the one who actually pushed me to buy a property this year. So it's a six unit building with the potential for a seventh. Mm -hmm. um, we ended up getting a residential mortgage on it. So we found a mortgage agent who does residential up to six units, which a detail is referred to me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to get into like the really detailed no. numbers or? No, just like, what's the purchase price? Purchase price was mm -hmm. 430, 430,000. Yeah. yeah, and how much rents are you getting? Uh, about, 2500 now but we're adding another no, one in yes. yeah i don't know the exact number off the top of my head yet which yeah I but should, it's yeah. because it's vacant and yeah exactly. you're also planning to improve other units yes exactly so th it's gonna jump up a lot very yes. soon so yeah. yeah even now we're cash flowing but it's gonna be a very good cash flowing property once we get this mm -hmm. unit rented out yeah and yeah, because it, it was pretty much rented for 700 and I know it was crazy. It was 700 all inclusive for something that could go for 1200 yeah. with utilities on the market. So yeah, that that's one thing like for watching uh, for people who are watching, you know, wondering about value add in properties. So value could come in different ways for your property pretty much like your value was um increasing the rents. The yeah. current market rents are like 11, 1200 for a two bedroom. That's right. But it was rented for 700. All inclusive. All inclusive. So, and there was already a hydrometer, you can just separate it. Yeah. You know? So, the, like increasing your income and lowering your expenses can drastically improve your property's value. That's right. So, we're also paying for water right now. We plan on separating that eventually. Oh, but wow. we, for now, we're just putting a lot of like um, efficient uh, appliances <laughs> in there so we can save on water until we do, you know, separate it because that's a huge job to yeah. kind of separate. So, what do you mean like efficient? Uh, can you elaborate? I know, oh, like, I know what it means, but I want. Let yeah, to let them know. So like mm -hmm. for um, water, it's just basically changing out the old toilets there that can save a lot of money. And it's mm -hmm. super cheap to buy like energy efficient toilets now. We got all of them for all the units for 500 bucks. Wow. So that's like a huge thing that's going to save us a lot of money. And then just changing like even the shower heads to energy efficient ones like yeah. that, that'll save us money. Yeah, those who don't know about Canada or North American style, mm -hmm. you pay a lot of money for wastewater yeah. than used water. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. pretty smart. Yeah. So yeah, that's what um, we're doing right now. Just focusing on cutting our expenses down mm -hmm. and then re-renting and getting everything back up. And um, we're looking into that seventh unit maybe being an Airbnb, but we don't know yet. That's kind yeah. of more. If you if you do that Airbnb, now your cash flow shoots up. Yes, yeah, it definitely yeah. does. It's more work, but it does. It yeah, does for definitely sure. yeah. shoot up there. Yeah, because it's pretty much you have an opportunity to add a full unit. Yes, That's that would just cool. crazy <laughs> like for <laughs> this price right now, which you you helped us get. So thank you, Aditya. Yeah, for you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's yeah. all about like you know you you're pretty much prepared. You're you're well ready. Yeah. Um, there was a saying like um, if if the uh, what do you call student is ready teacher will come yeah you know, same thing like you you're ready with all the resources mm -hmm. so that's what I like about you and you did your research you had a strategy what you want like you're specific about okay I want to in this specific location mm -hmm. this type of tenants and mm -hmm. you know uh, four to six unit building yes. like you you were specific yeah. that's why we were able to nail it down and mm -hmm. find that property right yeah, so exactly. if you're like new if you just go ask an agent or anyone mm -hmm. hey i want to buy a property mm -hmm. they, if you don't tell what's that property then who knows but you were different you did all your research you nailed it down and also mm -hmm. another point you mentioned before like we met at the networking event mm -hmm. she's 23 and she's going to networking events and all those things that means learning mm -hmm. learning is the first step save money and learn and take actions yeah. you were not afraid to do that yeah yeah so that's pretty cool yeah and um, i was i want to specify i was terrified to do that <laughs> i was actually very afraid to go to my first networking event because i'm not very um i i know people say i'm social but i'm not mm -hmm. very i'm more introverted so i i was terrified to go to that first one but i ended up meeting 
a lot of great people and there's a lot of people there that are learning as well mm -hmm. so it's not just you that's going through that like there's even like very experienced investors are still learning and oh, they yeah. can feel very insecure as well for even being there because you have one person with 10 units and then there's that one guy over there with a hundred <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> like, everyone comes with a different uh, motto right yeah. some of them they just love to give back like you know sharing yeah. their knowledge mm -hmm. and some of them want to find deals some yeah. of them want to find money yeah so it's a different environment where you can find meet different people yeah. but the same motto real yeah. estate if you're afraid to get out there and do it like be afraid but do it anyways i know? love that i love yeah. that yeah that's, that's very true yeah yeah even like when i purchased my first property i was like scared to death yeah because for for others once you purchase it they, they seems like oh this guy is dirty no not really yeah I, i'm scared to death inside i just didn't let that out yeah that's i right. just my, me and my wife knows that i was scared but yeah you know that's the thing every doesn't matter whatever you do when you're doing something new mm -hmm. you're scared yeah that's right but once you got used to it mm -hmm. now do you think are you gonna buy the second one? Oh yeah i'm already yeah. looking <laughs> look at the conference <laughs> yeah. look at the conference <laughs> yeah i'm already looking so we're we're starting to like save up and um get our second one i was just talking to you about this too i didn't want to buy one until a few years down the road and i'm looking at getting at least two and that's Next a secret year. that's a yeah. secret don't delay the process especially yeah. with the investment properties mm -hmm. the reason i was pushing you to buy because you already had cash flow mm -hmm. if you sit it in the bank what what would happen nothing you might get yeah. like three percent interest rate not even it's like yeah. 0 0.05 now with the six unit building now you <laughs> you have a control of improving it mm -hmm. let's take that you know improvement value appreciation let's keep all those aside right your mortgage is paying down mm -hmm. From your friends yeah it's like a forced retirement account but somebody else is paying it for you exactly yeah, so. so imagine now 20 years down the road mm -hmm. you have this building free and clear mm -hmm. yeah so now you're all pretty much retired yeah. Yeah. of course it's not quite what you're looking for 30 before yeah, 30 yeah. seven years now you have to double up your investments yes. then you can retire it in seven years that's right yeah. that's awesome so what would you recommend for young people like you you know um who are watching this especially like in your shoe right if they want to get into real, real estate, estate in yeah it? okay so um what from high school, what I looked for in a job was stability mm -hmm. and something that could get me my, like I looked at a career as an investment. So I didn't have a passion at the time. I had no idea what my passion was. And I know a lot of people follow, like get passion jobs mm -hmm. and a lot of passion jobs don't make money. And I'm of, I'm of the opinion personally that you should follow the money first. And then once you have that built up, then you follow your passions after because even that, Hold on. Okay. <laughs> that that's really a great point let me digest it so okay follow the money first mm -hmm. so that's what exactly what you have done you yeah. got first savings mm -hmm. wow that's yeah. a that's a great mindset yeah. Go on. yeah so um for the the passion part like people's passions change they could change like minute by minute they could change year by year you know to make your like your career your passion unless you're entirely sure of it and you know you can make some income off of yeah. it i like i personally would not follow it until after you get that money because your money allows you to pursue your passions if you don't have to worry about that aspect of it then you yeah. can follow your passions afterwards yeah, you know and not have to worry about that and that's what i plan on doing i do like nursing and mm -hmm. i'm i think like i'm pretty good at it and i mm -hmm. care about my career but i it's not something i'm looking to do for the next 30 years i want to travel i don't want yeah. two weeks of vacation a year and working holidays like this job demands mm -hmm. but it makes good money and it allows me to invest in real estate and eventually i'm going to be able to retire early and then pursue whatever I feel like pursuing even if it is nursing yeah I don't have to be in it if I don't want to yeah exactly yeah. but that's something like you know what you developed your your mindset that's really super mm -hmm. important for many uh, scenarios because because I, I can relate to that hundred yeah. percent when I started like I had my job mm -hmm. that was my solid uh, advantage yeah. I didn't quit my job right away mm -hmm. because I, I didn't like it or you know I was not passionate about it That's but right. I quit it once I established a little bit of portfolio mm -hmm. which is enough for me to survive doesn't matter what my exactly. so I really mm -hmm. 
it, it really makes sense yeah so guys <laughs> so follow the money first and invest such a way that you will have freedom to follow whatever you want to do that's right yeah, yeah. I, it's my that's my belief and i think it's worked well for you as well yeah. i noticed you've done the exact same thing yeah. i was going to go into engineering as well i was it was between engineering and nursing and uh, med school, which I'm very glad I okay. didn't do. <laughs> that actually re re reminds me another question. Actually, okay, okay. so you said why you chose nursing instead of going for dental or any? Doctor. I no, actually, I um, I chose real estate over med school. So can you elaborate a little bit why? Okay, so from nursing, I was gonna go into med school because I wanted some like I wanted. Um, like a successful career essentially that like and being a doctor mm -hmm. everyone knows like oh you're a doctor you're making a lot of money and whatever yeah. and it was to fulfill that kind of um like that part of me that wants to be successful mm -hmm. so and to do what i want with life and it has a lot of career options so from nursing school i was going to go into med school and i was preparing for this it was med school or law school so mm -hmm. one of those two and then i found real estate so I thought to myself, I could go to med school until I'm 29 and then go for residency for two years and then be hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt and start my life in my 30s. Or I could stay in nursing, you know, build up this income while I'm young, invest while I'm young, um, get into real estate and then potentially retire by the time I'm 30 instead of the other way around. And if I want to pursue med school or something later on, I have the income to do that if I if I feel like it. You know, that's yeah. a thing. Yeah. So like get the money first and then do what I want later on. Yeah. So I decided to not go into med school and use this money I saved up for that and invested in real estate instead. That's freaking crazy yeah. because it's a not one or two out of 100 people think it think in that way yeah. but I think that makes 100% sense to me instead of going for you know if you're not really passionate or anything if you yeah. want to have a better life and all yeah. those things then this makes a lot of sense yeah so, the guys, goal was a better life that's yeah, it yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. so if you want a better life just follow the money first and you know uh, make a better mm -hmm. uh, assets yes and then build your passion yeah that's right yeah awesome awesome yeah. I, I love this uh <laughs> mindset game yeah it's, it's pretty crazy yeah so what's your future look like from here on so uh what's your plans with the real estate investing so um we're gonna fix up this property and get it cash flowing as much as possible buy some more four to six unit buildings uh keep saving stay at this stable job um and it'll help me qualify for mortgages as well banks love to give mortgages to nurses and engineers so yeah, <laughs> yeah so, um, so if you have a job don't curse yourself mm -hmm. build on it because jobs give you a solid credibility to get mortgages yeah. you yeah. don't have to look for creative exactly it does make things a little bit easier so mm -hmm. yeah it, but even if you do have to do creative financing, you do what you got to do. When yeah, you exactly. To, I mean, yeah. If, if you already have a job, then work on that one. Exactly. If you don't have, then you do what you got to do. Yeah, work with what you have. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Work with what you got. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Man, this is a lot of fun, man. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's definitely a lot of uh, uh, useful content, useful you know, tips for younger generation, especially, yeah. you know, for millions. So mm -hmm. thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. And I really wish you a best of luck for everything what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll definitely bring you on later on in next few future videos. Oh yeah. To sh share more success yeah. from you. Also, I'm uh, my YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. yeah. <laughs> I am starting up a YouTube channel. Well, I already have a YouTube channel. So I'm under Genuine Peach. My channel's kind of taking a switch from kind of YouTube politics to finance. So yeah. it's gonna be a big switch, Morally. but it is what yeah, I'm passionate Definitely, about. I think that's gonna help a lot of uh, millennials. Yes. You know, yeah. to, to, it's not only just who says the things, now you're doing it. Yeah. So you've done it and you're doing it. So yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be an awesome tool and I'm pretty sure I'll be the first subscriber. Oh, <laughs> thank <channel>. you. <laughs> so, I'm excited to help people and what I'm passionate about, you know, yeah good. no that's yeah. good that's yeah. very good yeah. awesome awesome okay. well thank you so much and have a wonderful day oh well thank you all right hit the subscribe button for a detail too, if you remember. haven't done that yes if you haven't do it watch <laughs> other videos here here and there yes so see you guys in a later video all right see ya